Hello everybody. I was out here, I was doing a video about shooting my bow and I and uh, something come to mind that I want to I want to get with you about too. This will be uh one of our parts on uh learning how to hunt with the longbow in the south. We've already got our equipment shined up here and we uh shooting pretty good, I hope, and and practicing at it and we've bought a few necessities that we need, you know, we talked about that. Well, you got to figure out where you're going to hunt and this is pointing directly at the public land hunter actually. And uh, cuz that's 99% of what I hunt. And you need to find some public land around you. I'll make this pretty short right here. And I'm going to give you some homework. You need to find some public ground, uh, land around you where you're going to hunt and uh, do some research there. And you can go online and find out anything. But, uh, you know, some land you may need to drive an hour to get to some better hunting than just right down the road, right? Do you some research, research and figure that out. But what I want you to do then when you figure out the piece of property that you're going to be able to hunt, this is your homework. You go out there and you find as many persimmon trees if you're in South Georgia, if you're anywhere else, Middle Georgia, North Georgia, you find as many white oaks, as many swamp chestnuts as you can find, crab apples, you go and find every one of them. And the entire time you're doing that, you're running drills with your compass. You may have all that other stuff on your phone that you can check yourself with, these gnats are driving me crazy, but I want you to take your, your compass with you and I want you to pretend there's no other way to navigate and take that compass. You can Google this stuff and learn all about how to read a compass while you're sitting in the recliner there drinking you some sweet tea. But uh, take your compass and learn how to read it. Try to get back to the truck or get as close to the truck as you can and build some confidence in yourself with that compass. But the, the part of this hunt I'm wanting you to do is go and find you some public land that you're going to be able to get to. You know how much gas money you can spend and how much time you have allotted for your hunting, right? Well, you need to don't burn when hunting season gets here. The worst thing you can do is it's deer season tomorrow and you don't have no place to hunt. So let's remedy that right now. While it's not deer season, put on your snake boots and get your hiking stick and plenty of water and your compass around your neck and a map of the place and uh, start looking. Start looking for feed trees. Take your binoculars with you because uh, most of the trees are already showing acorns. I know the persimmons are showing. percent. they got persimmons on them right now. They're green and the crab apples as well. So go ahead and start looking for some feed trees, getting familiar with the area you hunt, and also look for uh, people sign. It'll be old people sign from deer season. If you go find a crab apple tree and every tree around it's been skinned up with climbers, you probably need to mark that one off the list. But that's what I'm telling you. Get out, learn your new property if you're gonna be hunting public land. And uh, don't think you can carry your bow and stump shoot. I don't believe they allow that, but you can get out and do a whole lot of walking Spend a couple of Saturdays maybe out there walking around and getting familiar with the place you're going to hunt. Then when August 15th comes in, you take your bow and some squirrel arrows and maybe try to run up on a hog out there and do some serious scouting in, okay? Get ready. Get ready for deer season. Have you a place picked out to hunt. All this other stuff is to no avail if we don't put some boots on the ground starting right now and start looking for something to hunt. And we'll get in some uh, scouting videos after August the 15th when uh, I can go hunting small game. Then I'll show you how I'll locate the feed trees I'm going to hunt. But you got to get out right now, especially if you're going on this new property around you you hadn't hunted. You got to go find some trees right now. Go find them. And uh, like I said, take your binoculars, but your homework is take that compass and learn how to read it. Learn how to read that compass. That's a lost art. And we'll use that thing to find animals that we've shot. And uh, it comes in really, really handy. But, uh, you got to have some direction. And I'd also encourage you to get in that Bible, get some direction in life. Have a destination in that, that, that Bible there. You got a destination. You got two, two places you're going to go. There's no other choice and there's no other option. So I would encourage you to get in that Bible, get right with God, and let's uh, use that compass that God has given us to get us to that, that good direction, right? Not the hot one. Thank you all for watching. Y'all keep the good Lord first. See you next time.